What's going on guys? Craig here from All Tech Together coming at you with another product review. And today, we're going to look at this. And this is the ultimate gaming grip for the Nintendo Switch from a company called Satisfy. In the interest of full disclosure, I want to let you know that I paid with this for my own money. And I was actually a Kickstarter backer for this product, you know, probably like six or eight months ago. So, with that out of the way, let's get into it. Okay, so fundamentally what this gaming grip is, is it's a more ergonomic sort of handholds for your Nintendo Switch. And it is designed for handheld play and handheld play only. I can't say this enough. If you want to keep this on when you go into docked mode for your Switch, it simply will not fit. So how it works is you take your Nintendo Switch and it simply just slides in like so. Once it's in there, it's in there pretty good. I'm not really concerned that it's going to fall out. Upside down. Face. It's in there really nice and secure. Now, what it does is it gives you more meat. It has a little more, how you say, junk in the trunk. That allows your hands to get a much better, um, more Xbox 360 or PS4 controller feel with your Switch. And it's considerably more comfortable. If I take this off and I go to grab the Switch now, it's thin, it's small, it's very um, uncomfortable to hold. Once you slide it into this Satisfy grip, it is actually a way better experience. Now, I have been using this uh, probably for a month or so now exclusively. I actually haven't even used my Switch in TV mode at all. I've kept it in this grip and only used it in handheld mode and it makes handheld mode so much better. I've tried other grips. This one by far is the best. Um, I can't say enough good things about it. Now, some of the neat things about this is you'll notice, and if I hold this like this, the right and left sides are not the same. This right side is more angled out. You'll notice this one is more straight down on the side. This one here is more angled out on the side. And it makes your right hand sort of get pushed out at, a, at an angle. And you'd think right away that that would make it feel very uncomfortable. And that can't be further from the truth. It makes it considerably more comfortable with that in place. It is just solid plastic. And you see here it says Satisfy Pro Gaming Grip on the back. And it's just a hard matte plastic and it does a pretty good job at resisting hand oils uh, it hasn't gotten too i'm gonna say shiny and oily over the months uh, or months sorry that i've used it and it's actually held up really really nicely so that's good to see it also has got some nice feet here at the bottom that allow it to sort of cradle your switch and if you wanted to you could very easily charge your switch with this and i'll get into that a little bit here again just because of the Kickstarter sort of pledge I did. And I'm going to show you a few more things. So it will sit nicely on a table. And if you get a low profile enough USB-C cable, you could charge this as well. Now, I wouldn't recommend playing the Switch like this with a Pro Controller. It's just simply too vertical. I think it'd be very uh, hard on your neck to sort of look at it that way. But I guess if you really needed to play your Breath of the Wild, uh, you certainly could do that. Now, with this, and this will be the only downside to this grip. When I ordered this grip, I, kick, I did a Kickstarter, and I'll grab the other one here, just off camera. I ordered this Kickstarter, and I got sent the Elite Backer package. And it came with the grip, and it came with the case, and I'll do a rundown of the case here as well. And you'll notice, and I don't know why I noticed this, but I noticed it right away. Inside of this side you can see there's little red silicone tabs and they allow your switch to go in there and it doesn't rub against your switch with a hard plastic it's sort of like a silicone buffer and the first uh grip i got was actually right here and when i got it i opened it i was like super excited first ever kickstarter that i've ever done i was like yeah but you'll notice there are no red silicone tabs in here on either side they were missed during manufacture. 
Now, I don't know how widespread this problem is. I don't know if I'm just a very unlucky individual and everybody else got theirs and it's perfect. But just be aware that there are some that are missing those red silicone tabs. And I think over time, now your switch will still fit in here just fine. It's still super comfortable to hold. But I think over time, it would scratch your switch controllers on the side, the Joy-Cons on the side, and it would wreck them up a little bit. So be aware of that. Now, for Satisfies Credit, I reached out to them. They got back to me fairly quickly. They sent me a new one, which is right here. There was no problems, and it was really painless. And I think within like four or five days, and I live in Canada, so I mean, these guys are from the States. Um, it got to me really quickly, and you know, it was very painless and, and seamless. So just be aware of that. So now we've looked at the grip. I also got with this the Satisfy case as well. Now this is a big case. This is probably a good two and a half, three inches thick. This is not for somebody who wants to be a minimalist at all. This is a big, thick case. But it's designed to hold your switch in the uh, grip. So if I grab my grip here, if I just set this down for a second, and I put my switch in, like so, okay? Fits in there nice and easy. And then I can take my switch case, and I can simply just, oops, it's hard to do this on camera, put it in like that. And it fits in nice and snug. I can put the card slots over top, and I'll talk about that in a second. Velcro over top, close it up, and away I go. So this is actually a really nice way to go if you're not concerned about the size. If you have size constraints, maybe on an airplane, on your carry-on, you're like, man, this thing's a pretty big brick, this may not be the kit, the kit for you. But other than that, it is. I have zero doubts that this will protect your switch. So inside, when you order this as well, you do get a low profile USB type C cable and it just lives in here and you can actually charge your switch underneath the switch there is a spot right here and this is actually for a battery bank and if you look on their website you can actually see the size for the battery bank and you can run the battery bank you can run your USB C cable through this channel down here I'll get this a little bit better through this channel down here and then you can run it up to your switch. So you can charge this thing on the go, which is super duper convenient. As well, like I said before, we have these really nice Velcro straps. Uh, for some reason, because I am who I am, I'll always put like a cleaning cloth over the screen as well because I just don't want it to get wrecked up. I also have a glass screen protector and I'm just really OCD about my screens. And then here you have your card slots. So you got five, 10, 15, 20. So if you have 20 physical card slots, or cards, sorry, you can put them all in these slots and you can take it all with you. And then you have a massive, and I'm talking massive pouch up top that you can put anything else. Earbuds. I have my games in these little plastic things that I bought separately just because I had them lying around, but I can do that and put those in there. And you can put another battery bank if you want. Earbuds. I don't know what else you'd put in there. Tons and tons of stuff. So, all in all, this is a really good um, product to protect your investment. Nice handhold, things like that. So I can't say enough good things about this other than the small little problem with the red silicone tabs. But I mean, that is so minuscule in the grand scheme of things with such a great product that I will give this my full endorsement. If you have a Switch and you like playing it in handheld mode, then this dock, or sorry, this grip is for you. It Maybe if you have really tiny hands, it wouldn't be great. But I mean, my hands are not big by any stretch and it is worth every penny. Uh, the other thing you also get, and I will talk about this too, is you do get some of these little tiny silicone um, Joy-Con tips or Joy-Con toppers, we'll call them. Um, again, and I said this before, I'm not a big fan of these things. I don't really see the point in them. They are on my Switch now, actually in here. And so I get a little bit of a closer look. You can see them there on the on the Joyce Cons. They're on there just for the review. They're gonna come off as soon as this review's done. 
I don't really like them, but if you do, you get some of them in this package as well. Um, so again, good job, Satisfy. Uh, Philip Brand is the CEO of them. Uh, during the whole Kickstarter, they were really good about you know sending updates every Friday. You know, super easy that way. So I wouldn't hesitate again to back anything else that Philip does in the future. So with that out of the way, guys, I appreciate you checking in again to my this video. I hope you love the review. Again, like always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Hit that subscribe button. I love to hear back from you. I want to grow my subscription base. I want to keep going up, up, up. Um, again, at 300 subscribers, so I think it's about 75 subscribers at the time of recording away. I'm going to give away another $50 Amazon gift card. Uh, and so when I do that, just so you know, it's always going to be in your, the winner's, local currency. So if you live in the States, it'll be in US dollars. If you live over in England, it'll be pounds, stuff like that. So hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.